Hey everybody again. Uh, this is review for a Dell Venue Pro. Um, if you have any questions about it specifically, uh, tell me in the comments and I'll try to answer them for you. So we'll start it on you know power button at the top. Um, of course, you've probably seen a hundred hardware overviews, so this is kind of more of a software thing. Um, I will mention the the physical keyboard is really really nice. Really enjoy that, especially being a portrait style. It's very unique. You don't see too many portrait sliders. So let me adjust the exposure a little bit so you can see the colors a little better. All right, there we go. And so this is what you're always going to be welcome to your main uh, start screen. Um, different hubs. You have picture, music. Uh, hubs, stuff like that. Game hubs, of course, you know, with the Xbox Live. Very, very nice. Um, one big thing, of course, that's, you know, everybody probably says this about Windows Phone is it's very fluid, um, very nice. Um, users, user interface is great. I do miss the widgets coming from Android. Um, Android overall, you know, between its multitasking is definitely, uh, you know, better still in my opinion, but Windows Phone is kind of a nice change. Um, and like I said, it is a very, very nice user interface overall. Um, now, specifically to the Dell Venue Pro, a lot of people have had problems with the Wi-Fi. Um, if you turn it on, of course, it will um, kind of crap out a lot on you and make it just freeze. I haven't noticed any of that on mine, so I mean, a lot of them do have that issue, but I guess a lot of them don't as well. So here we're in the Maps application. Um, Bing Maps, or whatever they want to call it, is, I mean, it's okay. It's nowhere near as good as actual uh, Google Maps. Google Maps just blows us away, um, especially for directions and navigating. Um, so as soon as, hopefully, they'll release a Google Maps very soon. And I guess we'll wait for that. Um, but, of course, I mean, it does work very well. I mean, it's very fluid. Just like, you know, the whole user exp experience really in Windows, Windows Phone is very great. Um, you have your lock button up at the top. One nice thing is um, sliding up the keyboard even just a little bit, um, uh, you know, turns the lock screen part on, which is really useful um, because the lock button's way up at the top. Um, it's kind of inconvenient to hit sometimes. So another thing uh, is the Internet Explorer. Um, I mean, overall, it's very nice, but there are, you know, some things to be desired. Of course, if you're coming from Android, um, would be Flash. So that's one big thing I miss. Um, the on-screen keyboard's really nice as well. Um, we'll see. We'll just go to a regular website here. Of course, it's loading the mobile version. Um, loads up very fast, at least that. And this is not on Wi-Fi right now. This is on, uh, T-Mobile's 3G, of course. Um, so we'll load up the full desktop version of the site. And same thing, like I said, fairly quick. Um, to load up, you know, zooming in and out. Very smooth. You know, great overall. Um, of course, you know, missing out on Flash, that's a pretty big thing. But overall, I said user experience from what I've found is, is great. Um, you know, the messaging is kind of similar to Android as well. So you're used to, uh, you know, kind of the kind of the threaded, kind of a mix between Android and iPhone, I guess. Um, mixed threaded view here. Um, also, if you want to check on your contact, you can click on the name and it'll take you right into their contact, so, which is kind of nice. Um, the gaming I've found to be is excellent. Um, and one thing you'll notice is in your main, uh, let me actually go back and show you this. One of your, your main, uh, app list, none of your games will show up in here. Um, which is kind of, I mean, it's, it could be good or bad. Um, but you actually have to do, you actually have to launch the games application to get to the games. Of course, unless you pin them to your start bar. Um, but like I said, the games so far I've played on it are great. Um, all, all very, very nice. Um, one example, a really good game is Revolution. And 
basically uh, jump right into the game and you have you basically move these gears around your goal is to try to get all the gears to move simultaneously um, with the gears you're provided very very fun game very addicting back my start button didn't want to work so let's say it's going to try to resume the game or you can just go right back to your start um, but overall, I said very, very happy with my experience so far with the Dell Venue Pro. Um, if you guys have any specific questions, um, just let me know. But really nice. Of course, one of the biggest features and attractions, at least for me coming to a Windows phone, is the fact that it has the Zoom Marketplace built in. Um, really, really nice because I know a lot of people, myself included, have an Android phone and a Zoom, um, or Android, even Android and iPod or something. And this is kind of nice because you get really kind of the best of both worlds so um, here we go we'll jump right into the music hub is what they're calling this and basically very similar to the Zune HD if you had one um, what you'll kind of notice is you, you do lose a few things a few of the features from Zune for example artist pictures um, don't come up anymore so if we if we click on let me go back to a different artist let's see where we go Sum 41's new album. Uh, so if we click on Sum 41 to go to the artist info, uh, we can get their songs, uh, their biography like we're used to. Let me turn that off. Um, and we're missing the pictures, um, which is kind of not a big deal for a lot of people, but it was kind of a nice little addition. Um, I don't know why they decided to take that out on this, um, but they did. So. Um, also, when you're you're playing a song and you're somewhere else in the uh, and, you know, on the phone, you can just tap the volume button, and this little thing will pop up at the bottom. You can either um, it lets you either switch songs um, or just pause it. Um, you can also change from ring to vibrate as well. So that was the music hub. There's also, of course, the photo hub, or the pictures hub. Um, the really nice thing about this, is, you know, they, they executed this very well, so one nice thing is um, you can change the background picture to whatever you want, so you can change it for, you can get them to change it for you. Um, you can pick it yourself, uh, so it's a, just a picture I took. Um, it populates these little tiles with pictures from a similar folder. Um, it also pulls new stuff straight from Facebook, which is kind of nice as well. Of course, you can browse all of them, um, get all the pictures that you know you have in different folders and stuff like that on the phone. Um, again, also some of them are populated from Facebook, and it'll say kind of at the bottom from Facebook if uh, that's where they're coming from. You can also sort them by date or your favorites. Um, so really nice. So back to the home screen. Of course, you can add as many tiles as you want to here. Um, to move stuff around, it's, it's easy. Just kind of click and hold. You can kind of drag stuff around. Really nice. Um, of course, the calendar. A lot of people like to see that. Mine's pink for some reason, but uh, anyway, it gives you a nice uh, agenda view. You can also go to a day view. Um, see what you have for the next day or so. Kind of nice. Um, also, go to your month view. Gives you kind of a mini list of, it's kind of hard to see from there, but gives you a mini list of what's going on. It'll say words in there for what's going on that day. So you can see if something's actually going on that day or not without even having to click. Okay. Um, one last thing I forgot to mention about the Dell Venue Pro is... Uh, yeah, some people might wonder, and again, it's not really a hardware review um, here, but um, the camera on this sucks. The camera is just horrible on the Dell Venue Pro. Um, I don't know if this is a software thing or a hardware thing or what, but from what I've noticed, let me swipe up some of the pictures I took here. You can kind of see the outline of people sometimes, especially if you're using the flash, like to glow really really inconvenient um, just kinda some random pictures I've taken 
I mean, a lot of them turn out really bad unless you're in daylight. I mean, if you're in daylight, it you know, takes fine pictures, but any kind of low light situation is horrible. Um, so that's another thing to kind of keep in mind about the Dell Venue Pro.